Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're gonna do an all blue dabbed painting. Um, you can see that I've got light blue, kind of some medium blues and the darker blue at the end. And actually before we get to the painting, I kind of wanted to show you uh, the blue itself because it looks pretty cool before, like when the paint sits there for a little while and it starts to separate, it's cool because it looks almost like a bacteria or something the little shapes of it. And it's got like these little marble cloud type things in it. Um, and the blue especially, I don't know what it is like for the blue, uh, especially this one's a little hard to see, but you can kind of see it there um, on the edge. The blue just looks really cool uh, when it sits because it, it starts to separate and you can kind of see the, uh, the pigmentation. Of the different colors so I just I, I find that very fascinating thought you might like that as well so kind of wanted to show you before I mixed it uh, so we're gonna go ahead and mix these uh, I just I, I really like blue I respect it as a color because I think that it goes with a lot of things but the shade of blue can also mean a lot of different things I mean obviously if you have like light blue you tend to think of like skies right you, you tend to think kind of um, maybe babies, you know, because people call it baby blue. Um, or you think of like, I like to think of the kind of the lighter blue of like older, like the older style cars. Um, Cause you know, a lot of the older colors, um, some of the older cars, like maybe in the fifties or sixties, some of them had that like pastel look to them uh, or the matte, like lighter colors. So I kind of like the light blue for that. Um, and light blue just kind of is like a soft color. It's just very calming. Um, but then you also get into like like this blue right here, which I'd say is a little bit darker than like maybe a, a normal blue. And this dark blue to me, it just, it reminds me of like blue jeans, right? Or it kind of reminds me of like the flag, if you have like a darker flag. Um, and this blue is just like a strong color to me. I think it goes with a lot of things. It's very... It's, it's like a strong color, but it's not aggressive. Uh, then you have something like this, this, you know, grayish blue, um, which I don't think goes with a whole lot, to be honest. Um, I just find it a, an interesting color itself. And then you have like dark blue, which dark blue is, you know, it's very, I don't know. It's, it, I think it's like a really deep kind of structure, like, cause it's got, cause like, a dark blue is just, it's all encompassing. It's not quite black and it's not monotonous like gray. Um, it just, I don't know, it's just a very prominent color. So I just, I really like blue as a color. Um, I think it's a very kind of good all around color. It's not aggressive or assertive. Um, and a lot of times it doesn't even tend to draw attention to itself. I find that blue is a really good color because it's it tends to accent a lot of stuff, but it isn't the accent, uh, at least not most times. So I wanted to kind of do a painting of different blues, and I'll probably do another video after this, just since I have them open. Um, but I, I don't know what that's gonna look like, so we're gonna, we're gonna find out together. So we'll go ahead and start with our lightest color, uh, which is blue, just kidding. Uh, so we'll put some on there, and then we will move on to kind of our medium blue here, which I, this, out of all these colors that I have here, uh, this one's probably my favorite out of all of them. And we'll just put a little bit more. And we've got this kind of blue gray, which I still like the color, um, but it's kind of like, is it blue, is it gray? I don't know. Sometimes I just pick colors out because I want to try them and I don't know actually how they'll look. This color right here is a really good color though, this, this darker blue, almost black. Um, I did it in another video where I did the uh, continents of color, where it's like the dark blue and, and gold and stuff. And it's a really strong color. Um, what I like about it is that because it's not black, it's not like just kind of all encompassing, super dark, but it, it's dark enough to highlight other colors. So I do really like that. So now that we've got our paint on here, may not be enough. I already think that I might have to add a little bit more, but that's okay. 
we're gonna go ahead and start with it and kind of see where it gets us. So we're gonna start putting it into the one color and then we'll put it into another and then we're gonna drag it across, put it into it, drag it across, bring it in, take it into color, bring it across. So we're taking all of the, the heavy pools of color and pulling them into the areas where there isn't any paint. And this helps us kind of even out the color distribution of the paint. And then sometimes we'll go over the pools of color to pull those into the areas where there isn't any color. So we're going to pull some more of that. And just looking at it, yeah, I, I'm going to run out of paint, which is okay. You know, we can add more. That's not a big deal. We don't want too much that, you know, we don't want too much that it starts to pull into the center of the paint. We want to kind of try to avoid that if possible. And then while we're kind of at this, we'll go ahead and fill some of these gaps. And I'm going to try to pull some of these colors out and use some of these little puddles that we've got going on. Pull these over and just kind of go over them a couple times. Pull some of that color out. And then pull some of that. Some of this. And we just pull it straight up. Um, I don't really want to kind of pull it at an angle. I kind of want to, I want to push down pretty hard because what I want is that the color will displace as I push it down. So I'm almost like stamping the painting, right? I'm pushing down all the way and then pushing it, really kind of working that paint in there and then pulling it off like not super fast, but fast enough that when it creates the suction and I pull it up, it creates the little the little flame looking uh, designs. All right, so we're pretty good. The painting is about done and full. So we're just going to kind of stamp it a little bit more just to make sure that we got all of the areas covered here. And I think we're just about done. We're gonna pull some of this off because we got quite a bit of paint over here on the tape. So we'll just kind of pull some of that and then we'll, we'll tie it in and just kind of work that through. And I think we're probably pretty good. I'll just pull that in, that paint. Okay, one thing about gloss enamel, I don't, I don't think I've ever really talked about this, but because we're using gloss enamel, which is essentially house paint, not all paints, but the paint that I use is self-leveling. And the reason that that's good for like house for houses is that when you put it on the wall, it doesn't bunch up. It, it's self-level, so it's got a little bit of weight, so it kind of evens out so that when it dries, it doesn't dry clumpy. Because of the self-leveling uh, aspect of the paint, when I use it for these paintings, um, even if I have like these little wavy designs at first, sometimes they kind of flatten because of that self-leveling property of the paint. So just thought I would uh, highlight that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I think we're good. I think the whole painting is covered. Oh, there's a little spot right there. So I'm just gonna touch that and push that. And we're done. All right, so let me put my plastic away. And we'll pull this tape off, pull it to the side so that if it rips, it doesn't destroy the painting. Pull this down into the side. Most. Oh no. And good. So now we got that off, so I can take my glove off to show you guys. Give me a second here. I think 
I did see another spot that didn't get covered right there. So let me just fill that in. And I think the rest is good. Okay, so here is the final piece. I'm gonna take a snapshot. Hold on. It's always the glare. It's never my friend. Okay, so here's the final piece. Try to get above the light. We got the pools. Uh, so overall, it's okay. Uh, the gray, that grayish blue kind of, I think, ruined it for me. I like all the other colors together, but not that. So overall, not not my favorite piece. Not a big fan. Don't hate it, but not uh, not one of my favorites. But it happens, and you just kind of learn from it and move on, and that's just the way that it is. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in another one. Take care.